Expressions in Black on KGW is a sponsored presentation from Heart and Hustle Productions. The most powerful word in the English language is black. It is both dark and light. But it means so many different things on an emotional capacity, on a spiritual capacity. It is so many different things and we use it so many different times. I'm a dancer, I'm an artist, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm fluid and I identify with a lot of different things. I'm Hobbs Waters, and this is my expression. Dance is my life, man. The first time I danced, honestly, I just remember being happy. It's how I express myself. I'm always growing, and this is really when I feel liberated. It is ultimately my purpose. That's how I contribute to the world. I'm always being tested with dance, physically and mentally. Just having that mental capacity to push myself in, and you have to look at what you're doing as a milestone and be able to continue to grow. Especially with the pandemic, I've been really trying to push myself in. There have been days that I want to quit and days that I want to just jump into the studio and work my hardest. Arthur Mitchell is someone that I look up to. He was an emerging African-American dancer during the Civil Rights Movement. I particularly am appreciative of him because he was the first, and I'm pretty sure the only, male principal dancer within the New York City Ballet. He went on to start in the Dance Theater Harlem, and he has influenced so many other black dancers and choreographers who have done a lot of different things. We're Open House, which is a co-working collective in Portland. This is actually where I was commissioned to do my third mural. My lifestyle, at least, is all oriented around art. Not, not only dancing, but painting, illustrations, even, you know, photography and, and music. Oftentimes, I feel like complicit people come around and then they look at something and then they take away from it and then they don't do anything. So with my work, I want to change that norm. I want people to really reciprocate my work and then become active. This is an abstracted, atomically correct harp. Uh, I wanted to play a little bit around with realism and abstract, trying to really accentuate like the arteries and the, the different pumps. I didn't actually start producing abstracted pieces until like three years ago. I was definitely reluctant to start getting into that medium, but I'm surrounded by a lot of people who push me to continue to grow and explore new artistic mediums. I have a lot of my work around town. A lot of my art is really just an adaptation of how I perceive the world, especially because most of my art is oriented around social justice. I like a lot of symbolism in my work as well. And all my pieces are like that. And in a way, they bring light to issues that I think are neglected or need to be analyzed further. I am finding myself within my artwork. Like I said, I'm always shifting, I'm always changing. And I don't think I've found my medium yet, but I have a palette of work that ranges from movement to clothing. Oh, hey. What'd you bring today? I brought some new inventory that I just got today. Um, I was just gonna give you like a two in each from extra large Ooh. to extra small. This is great. We're at Jailbreak. It's a local shop here in Portland, in the Southeast Portland, where a lot of local artists and makers have their work on consignment.
City shows might have been last time. Initially, it was an, another way to funnel uh, money into my dance, but it's grown to so much more. These are my friends. This is Naomi. This is Malachi. Uh, today, we're just going to be shooting uh, for this photo shoot for my Urban Lifestyle line. Let's go out a little bit, Naomi. Like, don't be afraid to be silly. You like this off? Yeah, this is good. Oh, my clothing line is primarily online, but City Show can be so much more. I like to think of City Show as if it's a movement. Just like turn your head like this and then like lean back a little bit. Yeah. What I'm really trying to incite and say with City Troll is, you know, breaking down these white norms that have been perpetuated through, through art by introducing new ideas, new norms that resonate with BIPOC. You guys wanna like dance a little bit? Just like move around? And this is kind of something that I also try to um, introduce into all of my work, whether that's painting, that's dancing. It's kind of the thing that intersects all the things that I do. When people mention my name, I want them to think about my dancing. I want them to think about my art. I want them to think of me as the face of City Troll, as the face of my movement. I'm trying to pave the way for the next generations of dancers who look like me, or introducing these, you know, more diverse idioms into the art world. I want them to think, I want them to think of my work and my legacy. Thank you for watching Expressions in Black. Taking this project from concept to execution has been an extraordinary experience. Our goal is to re-illustrate the image of the black community in Oregon. The gifted and the artistic, the educated and the articulate. Those that make our culture so rich. If you know anybody that we should focus our lens on, someone that truly defines black excellence, reach out to us at expressionsinblack.org. Until the next episode, it's peace and purpose. This sponsored program on KGW has been a community presentation of Heart and Hustle Productions.